manage the system so that their cost of operations weekly and monthly will be reduced. So that is the, the problem we worked on it. And so before we get into that, uh, that, side, that problem here, uh, 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 the supply side problem and the demand side problem, I would like to introduce two problems. One is the money supply to the regional branch is a supply side problem. So the head of is the head of is uh, bring the product to the each regional branch. For example, the Fed office have 36 branches. So uh, the supply side problem is supplying the currency in an uninterrupted manner to all the regional branches so that the economy runs without shortage of money. That is the supply side of it. Then the demand side of it is where the bank has to deal with only one regional branch that close to it. And there's an intermediary is the third party logistic providers. They securely transport the money from the regional branch to bank. So with under these two conditions of cross shipping penalty and custodial inventory program, uh, one bank approached us to see how we can manage the economy. Uh, I mean, I know the currency circulation in an optimal manner. So the, the, the bank problem can be visualized as follows. Uh, there are customers each week deposit certain amount of bundle of money or a particular denomination and also they receive the money in bundles in a week a certain amount and if they cross ship there is a cross shipping penalty of E and if the bank hold a physical currency that currency it has a holding cost it is an opportunity cost of holding that money otherwise it would have been in a fed book and making money for the bank. So we dealt with the problem. So here we have developed a two weeks model. And why two weeks model? Because in the same week, if you have cross-shipped certain bundles, there is a cross-shipping penalty. And the two weeks allow one week to withdraw and other week deposits. In the new arrangement, we, you can avoid the cross-shipping fee. And so the model is, is, has all the dynamics of cross shipping and the inventory holding cost, transportation cost between the Fed and the, and the bank. And we have developed an optimization model to tell the bank uh, what is an economical impact of cross shipping. Uh, if you do business as usual, there are two weeks model to avoid the cross shipping if we, if we wanted that the optimization model will take care of it. And, and with respect to there is a zero, so, this, so the model if you can put the zero cross shipping cost, that is business as usual with the previous, the previous situation and there is an E cross shipping penalty in the new situation. So they can compare the economical impact of business as usual with two weeks model. <coughs> so we have demonstrated to the bank if you perform this way, your cost of performing the operations bi-weekly is about 20%, 30% more. So the fish shorting is a, is a necessity. So that is where we come in to build another model where bank, the red one is a is a deposits. It, it, the bank red is the bank uh, deposits from the customers. Then the receiving centers of the bank receive that red arrow, and it can be stored as used inventory. Then it can be fit shorted. The fit shorted, uh, the used inventory can be moved to federal without any even cleaning. So sometimes we may face cross shipping. 
and the fish order money come back to the receiving the centers from there it can go to the bank and also fish order money can be used in custodial inventory custodial inventory is is as if we as putting the money in the fed book then also the fish order cash can be sent to reserve federal reserve bank to avoid fish shorting if you wanted to do it in the same week and also uh, the fish order currency uh, can be deposited at the federal reserve bank and from the from the other uh, and also the the bank can obtain the fish order money from the reserve and then give it to the bank so we included all these sophisticated model to tell the bank what is the amount of fish order is needed to be done what is the amount of custodial inventory that required to be held and all these informations to make that uh, the bank currency supply chain more economical and efficient so this is uh, where the we have a uh, system parameters customers demands are estimated for this model amount of received and deposits and withdrawal from the customers the holding cost the cost of opportunity cost of holding money in the bank's wallet cross shipping fees there should be shipping fee for a bundle of thousands notes and percentage of it to use cash some uh, when the money received from the bank there is a percentage of fit short uh, when you fit short it there i want the percentage of good money in that bundle is around 75% the custodial inventory transaction fee when we put the money into the custodial inventory and receive it there is a transaction fee that need to be paid to the fed and of course the transportation cost will be in the fed and all these are sort of put it into the model uh, where the the managers of the bank uh efficiently deal with the new recirculation policy that happened in year 2007 and the second model is useful uh in the current situation as well the the model first qualify the impact of new policy if the business as usual how much cost the bank incur if the bank doesn't want to do fit shorting the second model will sophisticated it will inform the bank amount of fit shorting amount of custodial inventory that need to be kept so that the system is operated efficiently so this is uh, sort of the first part of my talk i have consumed my time there are a lot of uh, papers i have written uh, in this topic uh, and uh, as far as i know that uh, sri lankan currency supply chain has not been studied uh, extensively and if the sri lankan researchers are interested want to make your bank more economical and efficient both supply side supply side is is means the currency come from federal reserve bank reserve to the sub branches and from the sub branches to the bank is a demand side problem we are the demand occurs at the bank level from the customers and the retail operations thank you and that's all if i want to keep on continuing i can continue but i don't think we are hungry and there is another speaker anxiously waiting to present another talk and what do what do i do now i leave <laughs> so i i i did without any mathematics right <laughs>